First question. 83. 83. Okay. Let's see what 83 is about. <clears throat> Okay, a man is six feet tall, walk at the rate of two feet per second away from a lamppost that is 23 feet high. At what rate is the, light, the length of his shadow changing when he's 60 feet away from the lamppost? Do not round your answer. So visualize this problem. Okay, so <clears throat> let's say uh, this will be our surface, okay? And here is a, a 23 foot tall lamppost. Okay, so we'll measure it. 23 feet. Actually, I was about to do so. Remember, one, once upon a time, there was this uh, series D angel or something like that, remember? Uh, so <clears throat> what happened is this, uh, this person is moving at a certain rate. And if this is our x direction, and of course this will be our y direction, then the shadow, which will be the line of sight, so this will be the, uh, the shadow Oh, let's, what the heck, let's do it as a solid line. Okay, so this is the tip of the shadow. Okay, it's moving as well. Okay, now the moment is work at the rate of two feet per second. So dx dt, the rate of the person is two feet per second. Okay, and let's say the shadow, let's call it s, We'll, and we are interested to know what is the SDT. And this happened when X, the distance, the person is 60 feet away. Okay, so this is when X equals 50, 60 feet. Hmm. Now also we know that the, that little person who's walking over there is six feet tall. So the height of the person is six feet. So I'm looking at this picture, and I don't know about you, but I see two triangles, right? Yes. Good, I'm, I'm really happy that you see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm sorry? Right, right. So what is changing? If you're looking at uh, this little triangle, let's say this is S, right? And, and uh, this is H, the diagonal is changing, but so is the diagonal on the, uh, the, big, uh, the, the big triangle. The diagonal or the hypotenuse, okay? So X changes and, and S changes and let's say this is L. So let's, you, you want to use C. So let's use, this is C1, this is C2, and let's say the big diagonal is C. So uh, we have uh, similar triangles. And by similar triangles, we have the following. The ratio 23 to 6, right? This to that is the same as the whole length to this. So it will be the same as uh, x plus s over s. Okay? So far, so good? And we can plug 60 in for that. Not yet, because 60 is changing. Be careful. Okay? 
Eventually we will, but right now we cannot. So do we care about the hypotenuse? Probably not. Because we add the x dt, all we need to do is the x. So what we'll do now, we'll do cross multiplication, and we're going to say the following. 23s equal 6x plus 30. Right? I'm sorry, this is 5. Uh, this is s, this is not 5. So 6x plus 6s. Okay? I want the s dt, so I'll move s to the left side, and I have 23 minus 6, which is 17s, equals 6x. And now do implicit differentiation, right? 17 ds dt equals 6 dx dt. Now, we know this is 2, and actually we don't care about the 60 or anything like that. This is a little odd with this problem telling out that the rate by which the shadow is moving has nothing to do with how far the person is from the lamp. It's the same rate. Okay? So, but what happened is the x dt is 2 at this point. So that's where the, the change. Because the, if the x dt is the constant rate, if if a person is walking at a constant rate, then the rate by which the shadow is progressing is also constant. So the s dt will be 6 over 17 dx dt, or it will be 6 over 17 times 2. So we're looking at 12 over 17 feet per second. It is much easier than you think initially, isn't it?